the Midnight Caller. It was a moonless night, the kind that seems to swallow all light and leave the world shrouded in darkness. Sarah had always been a night owl, finding solace in the quietude of the late hours. But tonight, that silence felt suffocating. She sat alone in her dimly lit apartment, the soft glow of her laptop screen casting eerie shadows on the walls. Sarah's unease had started a few days ago when she received an anonymous phone call in the dead of night. The voice on the other end was a whisper, barely audible, but the words chilled her to the bone. I know what you did. Sarah had assumed it was a prank, the work of a bored teenager trying to get a reaction, but the caller's knowledge of her deepest secrets left her trembling with fear. She hadn't been able to sleep since that night, constantly looking over her shoulder, fearing that someone was watching her every move. As the clock struck midnight, a creak echoed through the apartment. Sarah's heart raced, and she clutched the phone tightly in her trembling hand. She had locked all the doors and windows, but the sound had come from within. She scanned the room, her eyes darting from shadow to shadow, trying to discern any movement. Then, another sound a faint tapping on the window pane. Sarah's breath caught in her throat as she slowly turned toward the source. There, in the inky darkness outside, she saw a figure, shrouded in darkness, tapping a long, bony finger against the glass. It was impossible to make out any features, but the silhouette seemed unnatural, grotesque. The tapping grew louder, more insistent, as if whatever lurked in the darkness demanded entry. Sarah's mind raced, and she fumbled to dial 911, her fingers trembling. But before she could make the call, the figure outside the window began to speak, its voice a guttural, rasping whisper that sent shivers down her spine. I told you I know what you did. There's no escape, Sarah. Panic surged through her veins as she realized that the caller from the other night, the one who knew her darkest secrets, had found her. She dropped the phone, stumbling backward, but there was nowhere to run. The figure outside the window pressed its ghastly face closer, revealing hollow eyes that seemed to pierce her soul. With a sudden violent lurch, the window shattered, and the figure surged into the room. Sarah's screams were drowned out by the unearthly laughter of the intruder as it closed in, its grotesque form contorted in a nightmarish grin. And in that moment, as terror consumed her, Sarah knew that her darkest secrets had come back to haunt her in the form of a relentless and vengeful entity from the shadows, and there was no escape from the midnight caller's chilling grasp. 